Today, we're going to be making a 4th of July flag tribute that'll look perfect in your front yard. Now this 4th of July display is super simple to make and it'll take you no more than an hour to complete. So join me for this very special ride. The materials we need is as follows. A measuring tape, a pencil or pen, a PVC pipe cutter, of course, we need a flag. We need two PVC end caps, a T connector, a 45 degree angle, and then we need an entire 10 foot PVC pipe that is three quarters of an inch thick. We're gonna cut the pipe into four different pieces. Two pieces are going to measure four feet, and then the other two pieces are going to measure 12 inches each. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to show you all the first book that I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's rated for kids ages two to six years old. It follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. This is the first book I've ever written, and I'm super excited about it. It's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. So if anyone wants to support me or read it to their kiddos, go check it out. The link is in the bio of the video, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. So our 4th of July flag tribute is probably one of the easiest projects I've ever made. So let's get started with PVC. Now for each flag, you need one piece of PVC. I've chosen the size three quarters of an inch by 10 feet long. That's the size that they sell them in. So I'm gonna be making 12 flags, therefore I need 12 individual pieces of PVC. You can make more, you can make less, but just make sure that every flag has one complete piece of PVC. So now we need to cut it. I already showed you the measurements, but again, they are the first piece is to be cut at four feet long. Then we get a 45 degree angle and we place it just like this. Next, we get a 12 inch piece of PVC, just like that. Then we get our T connector and we place it right here on the top. Next, we get the tail piece, which is also 12 inches. We put it right here. Lastly, we get our actual flag holder. This is four feet long. When you add all these measurements together, it gives you 10 feet, and that's why we need 10 foot sections PVC. So the end caps, these here, are the final pieces that just completes the look for me. Once you get it, this is it. This is your flag holder here. But I'm going to add PVC cement to this area right in here and to the T connector, simply because in stormy weather, it could do this, and we don't want it to do that. So we're going to put it here and here, but not necessarily on this one, so it can just come apart at the end of the season. Next, we need to do the attachment pieces that are going to actually hold the flag. We're gonna drill two pieces per flag, so one right here and one right here. These flags that we have are three feet in width, so we just need to measure it correctly, attach the pieces in there, and then we're gonna use zip ties to hold the flag to the actual attachment. You're gonna see all of that. It's a super simple piece. We're basically done right now. So let me show you the last few steps. So the flag is gonna be held up by these eyelet screws. I got these on Amazon. Everything I use, I'm going to link in the description of the video. Each flag needs two of these, one at the top and then one closer to the bottom so it can hold the flag upright. Next, we need to measure the distance between this hole right here and the top hole. In this situation, it is 32 inches. Therefore, we're going to put our eyelet screws right about here. So I'm gonna do it about two inches from the top, and then I'm gonna measure 32 inches down so I can put the second one there. Make sure you put them on the same size. So if you're gonna put it like this on the top, it needs to go just like that. So before we can put these eyelet pieces inside of it, we need to pre-drill. So I'm just using a drill bit that I found over here. And this drill bit is skinnier than the width of this one. So if you put it just like that, actually like this, you'll see slightly that this drill tip is just skinnier than this. We want to make sure that the hole is smaller so that this has something to grip onto.
And this is what all 12 of them should look like once you've finished using PVC cement or simply just attaching them. Lastly, to attach the flag to the eyelet screw, just use a white zip tie like I did here, and then you're done. Next, we insert rebar into the ground. These are two feet long rebar, and they're spaced six feet apart from each other. 